What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Emerald walkthrough. Okay, so side quest time. Yes, we're not going straight to uh, what you might call it, to the whole Team Aqua build up kind of deal, kind of dealigate. No, we're going to do a little bit of side quest since we actually do have the dive technique, and uh, because of that. We brought in a few old friends from, you know, past episodes like Shadow, Raiden, Claymore, Hydra number three, and Zoro. So, in this episode, we're actually going to be going straight to... Well, wow, I should have gotten a Flying Time Pokemon. But yes, we're going to be going straight to... Let's see, what was the place called? Oh yes, we're going to be going to Slateport City. And then we're going to be going into the Abandoned Ship. If you guys don't remember, we passed the Abandoned Ship, never got to it... Kind of a big deal, but now we do have the, uh, what was it, what was it called, the dive technique. So, that's exactly what we're going to do right now. I, yeah, I should have thought it through. Need a flying type Pokemon. So, let's go right ahead and uh, move Pokemon around. As you can see, I do have a collection right here of good Pokemon. Uh, Toxic Batman, Ultra Psycho, and all that stuff. Like I said, guys, I have a little bit of a surprise towards the very end of, uh, you know, our, our little walk right here. Um... That's why I am collecting all these Pokemon right here. Just for, you know, a good time, fun time, and all that stuff. So, let us move on right here. And, uh, let's see. There's a little something that needs to happen first. So, I'm just moving around. There we go. We're getting a message right here. And it's May. And she's like, Hi, Draven. I was just at Pacific Lock uh, a little while ago. I saw a giant green Pokemon flying high in the sky. I, I've never seen anything like it. I wonder what it was. Is it maybe a major discovery? Who knows? So that's one of the things that should be happening after you defeat uh, Team Magma and after you defeat what you might call it uh, uh, the the Moss Deep or the Moss Deep Gym Leader. So I'm gonna fast forward, get to sleep or get to the abandoned ship, and then you know. We're gonna do our thing right there, so I'll see you guys in just a little bit. Alrighty, so we fast forward right here to the abandoned ship, and uh, well, let's go right ahead and take a look at what, what we got right here. As you can see, the abandoned ship, lots of cracks, lots of holes. We can't get past it. It's, uh, you know, it's one of those deals right there, but as you already already noticed have my Pokemon right here and uh, this is full of mysteries full of Pokemon trainers and all that stuff you can find some different stuff right here and uh, we got a double battle right here so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put shadow right here and I'm gonna put Claymore up front as you probably already noticed Claymore is at level 29 last time we we had it was at level 20 may have powered it up a little so we can see some evolutions in this episode what on earth would compel you to come here you must be curious Yes, I am. I'm very curious. Wah! I found... I've been found, huh? Okay. That doesn't really make any sense, but here we go, guys. Here we go, here we go. Beautiful beauty and uh, Demetrius. They want a battle, and they're coming out with some pretty good Pokemon. Wilmer and Zigzagoon, and unfortunately, Shadow is not strong enough. It hasn't... I don't think it's ever been sh uh, strong enough. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to be switching them up because we got a huge disadvantage. So, let's go straight to Raiden. And, uh, well, let's go, let's go to our old buddy, Sparky. Last time we had a Sparky was a Pokemon Yellow. And like I said, I'm going to be changing it up. Well, I'm going to be uh, showing some more Pokemon right here. That way you guys can see that, you know, let's, let, let's use more Pokemon than just the original six right here. And, uh, well, let's go right ahead and do that. And let's go right ahead and do that. Shockwave, hopefully for the win go goodbye Wilmer so you can see just kicking butt I'm kicking so much butt and shadow finally grows to level 16 Claymore and whatever and you guys already know what happens right here level 16 that's the that's pretty much the level that we've been waiting for for quite some time maybe two months ago I don't know and there goes Zigzagoon and well <laughs> shadow is gonna gain a lot of levels right now and uh, well these guys are just dishing it out with their Pokemon right now so let's go right ahead and use a return on you and let's go Thunderbolt on you there we go as you can see Raiden still loves us even though we're not using them and there's that critical hit and uh, there's that paralysis that we don't love and uh, well Shadow grows to level 11 and he's trying to learn Odor Sleuth of course it's not learning any new better moves and all that stuff so 
Here we go. Thunderbolt misses. Good God. And of course he has uh, survived for another day right here. And uh, yeah, there's that defense. Oh God. All right, let's go Spark. Let's go th Thunderbolt. And here we go. Sparky with a Thunderbolt. And Horsey eliminated. That's right. One of my Pokemon from Pokemon Yellow kicking some butt. So there we go. Not just curious, but also strong. That's right. And this guy, he thought I was his mom. And uh, you're such a, t a tough trainer. Let me register you as a memento. Okay. Okay, beauty Talia. Talia. All right, so we're going to be moving on forward right here. And uh, we're just going to be looking for some some stuff. And, you know, the main thing about this is that you need the dive technique to actually get through this whole area. This guy says, ships of sort, uh, ships of this are sort of rare. So I'm taking a look around. Hmm, there appears to be other cabins, which is true. So let's go ahead and see what's inside this cabin. And as you can see, we got a uh, harbor mail. Okay, so that's... Uh, we we could have gotten that early on, but we we can also buy them too. And let's go right here. Isn't it fun here? I just get excited just being here. That's cool. All right. And uh, let's see. Talk to this guy. When we go out to the sea, we sailors always bring our Pokemon. How about a quick battle? All right. Bring it. Just bring it. Okay. So here we go. Sailor Duncan wants the battle, and he's coming out with his spiel. Okay. Alright, Spiel. Let's do this. Go, Shadow. And, uh, <laughs> Spiel is not, not, not strong enough. So we're gonna go straight to Sparky, our good old Pokemon from Pokemon Yellow right here. And, uh, well, there's that Body Slam. Hopefully it doesn't paralyze him. Don't paralyze. And it paralyzes you. That's right. You get paralyzed. That's right. Here we go. Thunderbolt. Alrighty. Okay. So as you can see, Spiel's been defeated, Sparky gaining levels, and he's coming out with a Macho. So I'm going to go straight to a Pokemon that we haven't used in quite some time, and that is Hydra, Hydra number three. If you guys don't remember, I have three different Hydras from Kanto, Johto, and now, now uh, Hoenn. And uh, look at that, that guy has no chance whatsoever right here. So let's go with a Dragon Rage attack. Yeah. And look at that. He's going to go with the Seismic Toss. And uh, I don't know what that could do. I don't know what that will do. And here we go. Dive attack. And, uh, well, as you can see, dive attack is not going to get hit. And here we go. Dive attack for the win. Eat it, Macho. And uh, would you look at that. Shadow grows to level 18. And, well, our Pokemon are doing just fine right here. And he's sunk. Yes, he is sunk. And, uh, well, it's been two months since we've started this whole thing. And as you can see, Shadow is finally evolving. It's deserving of its evolution. I'll tell you that right now. Because, you know, before I screwed up that first time, Shadow did evolve. But then I switched up my mindset and didn't use Shadow later on. And as you can see, Shadow kicking some butt right here. And, uh, well... Let's go ahead and take a look at our, our, our Shadow right here. Finally evolved. It's a dark type Pokemon, of course. And, well, its strongest asset is its physical attack. And, well, like you, you, you guys can see, it's not really the most impressive Pokemon right there. So, let's go ahead and switch him up to Claymore right now. Because we want Claymore to evolve as well. And as you can see, some of these doors are locked. And it says storage and all that stuff. Now, if we go right here, we'll be able to find some trainers and all that stuff. It's empty. Getting queasy just being overpowered this ship. It's not even moving, but throws up. He throws up. Now we're gonna leave the middle for the end right here. As you can see, we're finding another item, and the repel has worn off. Uh, no, you can. You're not. You're not gonna be attacked by any uh, wild Pokemon right here. Oh, I, I. At least I don't think so. And then uh, let's go to the abandoned ship right here, or no, the other room. Find ourselves a dive ball, which is always nice. And uh, we got a Pokemon trainer right here. And he's like, this is a perfect place to go exploring. It's exciting here. I bet there are amazing treasures on board. That is true. If you're playing Pokemon or as. And talk to this kid. Yay, it's a ship. Alrighty. Okay. And what am I doing? Quick to the trigger. I'm going to go down here. And we get attacked by two people. Strength and compassion. 
Those are our trainer's treasures. I'm not good at swimming, but I am good at battles. Okay. All right, let's do this. So here we go, another double battle. Ruin Maniac Garrison and Tuber Janie, or Janie, or whatever. I don't even know, but let's just do this. And Claymore and Shadow are in, and Crud. Well, at least it has his Intimidate. That will actually help us out with the whole physical attack thing. Okay, so I'm going to attack. I'm going to use it. I'm going to use that. And I'm going to switch Pokemon right here. I probably should be using, uh, you know what, Swamp Lord right here. Hydra doesn't have the Surf Attack. So there we go, Hydra or Swamp Lord. And there is that Sand Attack. Hopefully it doesn't miss. And here we go, Take Down Attack for the win. Not for the win, and Water Gun. Probably would have killed a... Yeah, it probably would have killed our, our, our good old uh, buddy, uh, whatchamacallit, Shadow. So we're going to go with the Surf Attack right here. Two for one. Two for one right here. There goes Sand Slash. Now our biggest threat right here is Meryl because it's also a Water-type Pokemon. Claymore here is a Rock-type. And uh, everybody's getting levels. And Claymore going with the Iron Tail right here. And there we go. No more Meryl. How about that? And... Uh, well, everybody's getting experience points. And he's like, ah, oh, there's something about it that sparkles! And he's like, oops, I didn't go very well. It really didn't. And, uh, okay, so, let's see. I kind of want to evolve both of my Pokemon in this episode, so let's go ahead. Oh, we got, a, we got a ways to go. Yeah, well, might as well. Here we go. Got ourselves a revive. Always nice to have a revive, right? And, uh, don't miss out on this one. And, uh... Do they battle? Okay, if that's a double team battle, then I should take that experience share and give it to Claymore just to get it close enough to evolve. Because we still got a lot of stuff to do right here. So let's get that and give it to Claymore. He's holding the X attack. I don't even know why. And, uh, all right. Yes, it's a double battle. So she's like, oh, we're searching for some treasures. But we discovered a trainer instead. Okay, all right, let's do this. Bring it just bring it so here we go young couple Kyra and Dan would like to battle and they got Bulby and Illuminate uh, Illumize 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 or whatever her name is I still don't know I should I still don't know if I should be using shadow I mean that was always the question when I first started this whole walk right here should I be using uh, shadow so let's go right ahead and use rock tomb on you and uh, let's go ahead and switch you out for uh, let's go with Sparky right here. I should heal Raiden just because of that. Alright, so bring it. There's that Moonlight. Nope, nothing happens. Moonlight, nothing happens. And here we go with the Rock Tomb, and hopefully it works. That's right. Super effective. Oh yeah, you gotta love that Rock Tomb attack. So there we go. We're gonna do that again, and there's that Thunder Wave. I don't know why I did that. Probably because I was a little too quick to the trigger. And you can't even move. That's good. That's very, very good. So here we go with the Rock Tomb. And there goes Volbeat. And all by himself, Claymore kicking butt. And uh, that's another 500. And Shadow grows to level 19, which is good. And the young couple, they're like, oh, so strong. That is true. All right. And yes, they want to register us to our, to our Pokenav right here. Which is also good. And we got a trainer right here, so we should probably beat him. And let's see what you got. What's so funny about having me in my inner tube? I borrowed a ship. Um, you're not near water? I don't even know. It just looks ridiculous, kid. So here we go. Tuber Charlie wants to battle, and he's coming out with his Meryl. This is a huge threat right here for me. So let's go with Claymore. And let's get with the takedown attack right here and it missed oh crud oh crud oh crud oh crud oh crud oh crud oh jesus there's that bubble beam and oh jeez okay so that one was bad we are going to switch so let's go back to sparky and uh, again i need to <laughs> i need to heal my pokemon i really do so let's see pay a whip nothing good Alrighty. so let's go with the uh, thunderbolt here we go thunderbolt for the win there we go. Say goodbye to Meryl. There we go. Everybody's getting points. And uh, we defeated Charlie. Charlie in the Chocolate Factory. 
Yes, I overwhelmed you, buddy. And speaking of which, I need to heal up my Pokemon because, you know, I've been saying it, but I haven't been doing it. Kind of reminds me of what my dad talks to me, which is hilarious. So here we go. And Sparky, you are healed, or no, Raiden, you are healed up. And now let's see what's on, what's on the outside right here. So, as you can see, there's nothing else. The only place you can go to is right here in this area. And if you talk to this guy right here, he's like, I'm, investiga I'm investigating this ship on behalf of Captain Stern. He also asked me to find a scanner, but I haven't had any success. Which, you know, that's the reason why we need the dive technique. And as you can see, we found ourselves a storage key. So now, we're going to have to go back down since we have a storage key. And... Uh, First is first, let's see, let's see. I think the storage is right here on the corner. So go right here, we inserted the storage key and we're, we're in. As you can see, there's an item and we found a TM-13, which is Ice Beam, a very good move which we will be using later on. And uh, there's nothing right here. Now, the one room that we haven't gone to, not this one, but this one right here, this has a big old puddle, a big old, uh, whatever and it has a dark spot this is the reason why we needed the dive technique and this is the reason why we saved this whole thing it's for this one so now first time ever we're diving into like the ocean and whatnot so as you can see we're just going past everything and uh now if you press the b button again you'll be able to actually get to the next room and this is where it gets very very interesting with all the with all the rooms as you can see there's extra rooms and some of them are locked and you, you guys shouldn't worry, we, we actually can find the items. We actually can find the storage keys. If you haven't seen that sparkle, uh, then you should take a look at it again. Where the sparkle's at, you'll be able to find uh, different kinds of room keys. And uh, this actually opens up everything. And there's another item right there. We got ourselves a water stone. That's pretty good. And then, uh, let's see, room one right here. So we go to room one, and it's open now. And there's two items right here, but I'm going to grab this. TM-18, which is Rain Dance. Which is good. Very, very good. And we found ourselves the, round, the Room 4 key, which is also great. And let's see what this one is all about. Right here? Nope. Oh. Oh, okay. It's a bright... It's a piece of trash. So some of these uh, shiny items might be trash. So don't worry about that, guys. So let's see. Room 4 should be right here. Yes, this is room four, and uh, so there's three items right here. Grab that. Room six key. I'm pretty sure these last two are just, uh, yeah, bright and shiny, bright and shiny uh, trash right here. So let's just move on right now. So room five. No. Okay, so this one right here actually leads to, actually has a, a few items right there. That way we can actually find, and this is room six, I think. So let's just move on right here. There's nothing except this. We found ourselves a luxury ball, which is also great. And uh, nothing right there. Always check the trash can, guys. And you know what? I'm just going to... There we go. Bright and shiny. I'm going to check everything because there's like six or three items or four items. So that's... There we go. Okay, so I'm just... I just don't care. <laughs> I'm checking everything. Every little box. Bright and shiny. We're already there. Let's see what we've got. There we go. We found ourselves the room two key. And let's see. There should be another one. Let's see. Come on. I think that's the scanner downstairs. And uh, let's see. Come on. One of you guys. Could, I can't be missing anything, right? Okay, so let's see. Let's make this a little more simpler. Um, let's go ahead and use that item finder. Nothing. Okay, so those were just pieces of trash. Now we need to get to room two, which I believe holds a scanner right here. So let's go right in and see what we got. Let's open it up and let's see where we go. Nothing except for this. And look at that. We found ourselves a scanner, which is also great. And now, we just gotta make our way back to uh, the top floor. So let's go back inside and just swim, swim, swim. Let's swim. Let's get the heck out of here. That's right. Hydra number three, which is also great. 
So let's get the heck out of here. I wonder what made this uh, this this ship sink. Luckily, in Pokemon Auras, you you actually get a little more depth into this whole this whole area right here. Actually, you know, there's actually secret rooms, um, booklets talking about what happened to this whole thing. You know, just a little history of uh, the abandoned ship and stuff. I think it was called Sea Marvel. I think that's what it is. So now we're going back up here, and you talk to this guy. He's like, "Oh, that's a scanner. Listen, can I get you to deliver that to Captain Stern? I want to investigate the ship a little more." Okay. I'm gonna go to Captain Stern, and uh, what did I forget? I didn't forget anything, right? Yes, I forgot a flying type Pokemon. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna fast forward to Captain Stern in just a little bit. See you guys. Alrighty, so we're back in the Slateport City, and now we gotta go straight to the, uh, well, the harbor, just to find, uh, what's his face, uh, Captain Stern? Yeah, that's what we have to do. So all we have to do is go right here and actually talk to this guy, and he's like, Oh, Draven, that item you have, that's a scanner. That would sure help us on our explorations. Draven, would you trade your scanner for something, like, say, a Deep Sea Tooth or Deep Sea Scale? What I have, that I have, I should say. So, the Deep Sea Tooth and the Deep Sea Scale, they're both uh, different held items that can evolve a clay, uh, what was it, a, a, a clam pearl, yeah. One evolves it into, shoot, I can't believe, wow, I can't remember that's, wow, I can't remember it's evolution. Hold on, hold on, I got this, guys. Can't remember, can't remember, hold on, hold on. Don't judge me. Clam pearl. Clam pearl, okay, so I'm going on Bulbapedia right now. Pearl. It's been a while, guys. It's been so much. All right, so let's see. It's evolution. Wow, what the hell's going on with Bulbapedia? Why are you being so mean? Okay, so it's evolutions right here will be a Huntail. Wow, I, I, I knew that. Oh, a Huntail. And, well, okay, you can evolve Clamper, uh, Clamp Pearl into a Huntail if you trade it with a Deep Sea Tooth or a Gorbis training it with a deep sea scale and for me I, it really doesn't matter each Pokemon are cool so I'm just gonna go with the scale I don't know what it is you know it's whatever so there we go we got that and uh, the scanner and he's like thanks Draven this will help a lot so that's pretty much it for this episode guys um, again this is side quest time before we head into the important parts like you know Team Aqua and all that fun junk um, if you guys haven't uh, realized yeah, we're in Slateport City. We're going to go up north. We got a few challenges yet ahead. So I'll see you guys in the next episode. See you guys. <laughs>